along with Henrico County Recreation and Parks Department. And I am going to show you a fun new craft today that I discovered last year and I made it and gave it away as gifts and I was so excited about it I wanted to share it with you this year. So when you buy your pumpkins at, at Halloween you might carve them or you might just like to use them as holiday decoration. Well we're going to extend the life of those pumpkins beyond and as long as they'll last we'll make it make it work. First what you need is a pumpkin. Just a plain old pumpkin any size actually works. So if you like the pie, shot, pie size that works or larger jack-o-lantern size that works as well. And what you want to do is think about what holiday you're celebrating or what you want to celebrate. We've got a few examples here and in order to get started your supplies are going to include paint. Now I'll talk a little bit about the paint because for the pumpkins I have up here I use just spray paint and I use a gloss because it gives you a nice shiny sheen but one thing about gloss spray paint is it'll flake and as long as you're not moving your pumpkin around a lot it works fine but if you are putting it in the car and bouncing around a lot it might chip off. You can use white acrylic craft paint as well that works just fine but it doesn't give you the nice shiny edge to it when you're all done. So what I did is I used some acrylic but I took a, a sealant, a shiny sealant, and spray painted it after I was completely done just to give you that shine, and that was nice. You're going to need ribbon, and I think every pumpkin you should top with a ribbon of some sort. It doesn't have to be fancy. It can be simple, and I'll show you a couple different ways to do that. And maybe a, an ornament. I love ornaments. I have lots of them, and you can find these anywhere at the holiday season and any kind of ornament or something that might hang it doesn't have to be an ornament something that just adds a little more decoration to your pumpkin some floral wire to help with your bow to tie it around the, the stem and some clippers or scissors work just as well too so we're going to get started here i'm going to show you a little bit about the pumpkin and first of all what i'm going to do is i'm going to show you how to make a bow because that is something a lot of people trip up on and get real nervous about. Bows are actually very simple and I'm going to show you probably the simplest way to do it. Uh, to start with, the easiest kind of bow is a two-sided ribbon with a light wire in it. That's the kind you want to get and you're going to need about three yards. So I can measure three yards just with my nose. That is about three yards. And so I'm going to clip along the edge. There, I got my scissors. I'm just going to cut it right here. And I might as well go ahead and give it a, an angle to start with. All right. Now to make a bow, you want to have a little bit of a tail. So oh, maybe a foot and a half. Depends on what, how big your pumpkin is. And with a two-sided ribbon, like I said, this is very simple. You're just going to fan fold it back and forth and back and forth. You don't have to twist it. If you have a one-sided ribbon, all you do is twist it in the center and that will keep you so that your ribbon is on the, the outside is being shown. Now for pumpkins, you want to kind of keep it kind of tight, the loops. You're just going to go back and forth. And it doesn't have to be pretty because you're going to zhuzh it later. back and forth as many times as you can until you get to that end. Now the trick here is I've gathered it all in the middle. I have my last tail. I'm going to twist it around and make a little tiny loop at the very middle. And I've got my floral wire here. I'm going to use that. I've cut a piece. I'm going to wind it through the center and just twist it like a bread tie on the back. Twist it up tight. And that gives you your bow, basically. So when you're putting it on the pumpkin, you're just going to spread it apart and bend it to make it look like you want. So that is a quick bow tutorial there. And for the ends, you can just curl it up, cut the ends to make it look a little more finished, and there's a bow. Now that's a little fancier. So I'm going to show you a very simple way to decorate a pumpkin. So I've got my pumpkin here. 
And I have just cut a simple length of ribbon. This is about a foot and a half. You can make it longer. And all I'm going to do is wrap it around and tie it. Give it a little bit of a bend so you can see it. Nothing to it. All I did was tie it. You can double knot it if you want. Last year I put some hot glue in here just to keep it in line and keep it in place. I've got my ornament. I've added a little ribbon so I can tie it around the, the stem. And if I tie it there, and this is a pretty big pumpkin. So this might work better on a pie size, but it looks great no matter what. And what I've done is holiday Christmas. We've got some other holidays that we can work with. We've got a Kwanzaa pumpkin. I've got a Hanukkah or winter pumpkin. You could even, if it lasts, make it a Valentine's pumpkin. You can keep it going as long as you like. Decorate it for whatever holiday you want. And I hope you enjoy this holiday pumpkin redo. Mm -hmm.